Okay, so in this today's video, I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the fastest way to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Okay, so the first thing I need you to do is to go to Kali.org, click download. Now, don't go to installer images because that's the long way. I show you the quick, quick, quick way. Uh, virtual machines and go to recommended and always 64 bit recommended VirtualBox because we are installing on VirtualBox. Um, just click VirtualBox, download it, save it somewhere that you can access it easily. It should be. It will be you will need it in the future for maybe sometimes if it corrupts corrupts or something or you lose it you will need this this, this file for the future so just save it somewhere that you can access it again. Okay, so once you basically download your Kali disk, what we're gonna have to do is just click new, give it a name, give something anything else. I'm just gonna call it YouTube YouTube Kali five five five. Now this is the folder. The folder is the actual folder that your virtual machine will be installed on. Make sure it's somewhere that you want to install it on. By default, I'm pretty sure it's in documents, right? So don't install it there. Okay, so once you select your folder, do not select the ISO image because we're not using an ISO image. Type, you're gonna select Debian, uh, sorry, Linux and Debian 64 because Kali is Debian based. There we go, Debian 64, next. We're gonna give it, I'm gonna give it basically random because I'm gonna delete this machine right after. Next. Now, virtual disk. If you're using an ISO image, you would have to basically give supply an ISO image, but because we have a disk, we're gonna use a disk which is basically pre installed. Click here and basically add your disk. Now, make sure that it is a VDI image on the screen right now. I'm gonna show you which image you need to, the red disk, you need to supply this. Close it, select it, Kali Linux, as you can see, it might ask you how many basically gigabytes you want to give it or how much storage you want to give it, up to you. Next, finish. And that's sort of installed if you just run Kali. And I'm going to show you how to change your resolution temporarily because it's going to basically, it's not going to work straight after you turn it off, right? But it is definitely working because I've done it about, this is my about fifth installation today. Yep, fifth installation, I'm not happy, but it is what it is, right? Gives me something to do at least. Okay, so once this is running, now if you want to basically, as you can see, it's sort of, you lose the mouse as you as you move through your virtual machine. If you want to turn this off, you just press right control and it basically switches back, right? I'm allowed to go between now, right? So just, it's gonna take a second to launch and we just need to type in Kali Kali and that should basically installed, right? Right, so I've had the little problem with the resolution. Now, um, it is an actual common error. A lot of people have this error, but I've managed to fix it. I've been sitting for the last two and a half hours fixing this issue just for you guys. Okay, so I'm actually gonna show you how to fix the VBox editions or install the VBox editions and actual fix that worked for me. It should work for you as well. The first thing we need to do is just xrender, xrender, xrender hyphen S, and I'm gonna put my resolution, which is this. It should work for you as well. Now, um, type in sudo apt update, just update Kali. So we have the latest repository, uh, repositories. Um, I do not recommend upgrading it because it might take a bit longer. It's up to you, you can upgrade if you want. Okay, so once you basically have this installed, now what we go, we're gonna have to, okay. So once this is done, what we need to do now is install this command, right, which I've had to actually look for sudo apt install linux headers hyphen dollar now this command will be the in the description below just make sure you're copying it properly because it is important that you do obviously get this stuff for this to work okay so once this basically installs we're going to need one more thing to work so just let this install okay so once it installs we need to install one more thing which is just go to cd has been now let me just look for the file. So we just need to install this. So if you just do sudo su, and we need to do install is basically rcv box add setup, uh, quick setup all, right? This would basically install another sort of, um, I don't know what it is exactly, but it installs something that makes this work, right? Once you install this, or sort of while it's installing, what we can do is in the meantime, if you just click on to devices, insert guest edition CD image, and it should give you a disk. Now, I found out that if you install it directly through here, it might not work exactly or it might cause you some trouble. 
So if you just copy this Control A, Control C, create a new folder anywhere you want. I recommend on desktop and just leave it there. So just to make sure that it works every time. Um, I'm gonna call it guest ads, open the folder, Control V, right? As soon as this installs itself, we can progress further. So I'm just gonna wait till it installs. Okay, so once this is installed, what we can just is just close this. Uh, go to guest ads, open terminal, open terminal here. Sudo su Kali ls, and we need to basically do this sh vbox vbox Linux additions, right? Just press tab, press enter, and it should install itself. Once this is installed, what we can do is change our resolution for the final time, and once you sort of restart, it'll be fine, right? So this took me about two and a half hours or three hours to fix. And as soon as I'm about to basically say, guys, I'm just going to make another video. I'm just, I was about to give up, right, for today at least. Um, I managed to fix it, right? God is really watching me, <laughs> right? So just do sudo reboot. It will basically reboot the machine and it should allow us to basically run VBox additions or VBox tools without any hassle, hopefully. Just press enter. Okay. Might take a second. Just press the Kali Kali. And basically open up if you open up a terminal. Terminal. If you just type trying to copy something. It should work, right? For me it worked. As you can see, it works now, but before we basically the resolution might not be it. So we need to just press the left shift windows key, display. And you should be able to change the resolution for the final time. Actually, we're just gonna do terminal based because it's um render there we go and if you just come back to the display um go to 1800 and 1920 again if you just change i would recommend changing some stuff just to make sure that kali saves it or the virtual box saves it apply keep this configuration now if you do sudo reboot it should work for the final time <sighs> jesus christ <laughs> The determination, oh my god, I was determined to fix this and I managed to fix it. Okay. Okay, so if you just open the window, there we go, as you guys can see, it, it's fixed. This is how you fix the resolution problem and any other problem you might have with the VBox additions. Thank God I managed to fix it. I'm thankful to God, or I don't know, whoever, maybe myself, maybe, I don't know, but thank you very much. I managed to fix it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, check out my socials. And if you want to learn hacking the fastest way, if you want to learn hacking within a couple of weeks, make sure to check out my course, which will be in the description below. If I'm not wrong, there's still a basically discount running. So secure your place now because the price is going to go up.